Hello guys, what's up? It's Tim here, and we have another, yet again, a Minecraft tutorial. This time, I'm going to be showing you guys another kind of power source. Um, so, have you guys ever made your coke ovens, and you have all this creosote oil from turning coal into coal coke, but you don't really have a use for it. You're not into railcraft yet. And even if you are into railcraft, sometimes you're just making so much cold coke, you don't need that much creosote oil. So, you can use this creosote oil to make energy. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it. <clears throat> so, first of all, we should make our coke ovens. I'm just going to make around four of them. Three by three, if you guys don't already know. With three by three by three. With one spot in the middle left open. <coughs> okay. Oops. Nope, not in there. One more. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Four co coke ovens. So we're going to start turning the coal into coal coke. And then our next job to come under the coke ovens make a little pathway have this come up and right here we are going to build an iron tank oh <clears throat> almost forgot valves and I'm also going to need levers Right, there we go. <clears throat> Have this come up through there. We're gonna make it out of pink wool. Now we need to dig into the ground. Eh, I don't like doing that. I'm gonna raise it one up. Okay. Uh Yeah, there we go. That's how you do it. Is the scroll button automatically puts it in there for you. <clears throat> Let's just start putting those liquid ducts down. That's what you're going to need next. You can also use uh the build craft pipes or I think you might be able to use the fluid pipes from uh, is it Red Power. I think so. I think you can use those too. But liquiducts are my favorite, and they're not even that hard to craft either. So, I'm gonna go with those. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go with the five by five. There. <clears throat> that way it's not too big and it's not too small. You can make it as big as you guys want. I'm just going to keep it simple. So one, two, three, four, five. It's going to look so pretty. Yeah, you guys can, uh, as well as any kind of block, you guys can also use any kind of glass, I believe. 
<clears throat> I don't know about uh, warded glass, but I know you can use normal glass, glass viewers. Hardened glass is from the same mod as uh, as the uh, Liquidox, so it's compatible, and I think it should work right with it as well. Oh, yeah, the valve. Oh, we didn't even finish it. What? I'm thinking... I don't think we should put that valve there. I don't think it will be allowed to go there. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think it's gonna make it that that way. I'll have it come up here. Come on. Oh, what happened to our valves? Now, this isn't a tank yet until it has two valves. So now... Wait a minute. What did I do wrong? I thought I had it. Really thought I had it. Hmm. I'm stumped. Maybe one needs to come out the bottom. Let's <clears throat> have it come out of the bottom. Uh, it's not going to work. It's not going to work with me. <clears throat> We need to remake this thing. Ah, oh, no, no. Oh, my gosh, that is so unfortunate. <clears throat> Just I'll keep this back one. Destroy everything else. Okay. Let's make it a bit bigger. Four by four inside should be good. Two, three. Oh. One, two, three, four. So we want it one higher. Wait a minute, maybe you can't use pink wool. I'm just thinking that now. I'm not exactly sure which uh, which items you can use yet. But I guess pink wool might not be one of them. So for now, we'll just use stone. For now. 
Sorry about all the mess ups. I just don't know the concept of Zycraft tanks fully so far. One, two, three, four. Good. All right. Okay, fill all this in. Don't want to forget the top this time. There we go. Alright, let's get out of there. Oh, almost forgot the valves. Almost forgot the valves. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We want this coming up. It's not going to connect yet. We still need to put the valves in. The second valve. There we go. Yeah, it was just the pink wool, I think. Let's make it daytime. Wasn't even paying attention to what time it was. Clear this out a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so then we'll have this. This is going to be the output of the creosote oil in the tank. You want this to come into the semi-fluid generators. And then these you want to produce electricity to go into an MFSU or an MFE. What's the output of this? Oh, eight. So any any uh any kind of uh, storage unit will work. I know I'm gonna end up needing a a wrench. You can change these with an omni wrench, right? Yep. Okay. Next, we want to run our liquiducts under our Coke ovens. There's a small amount of creosote oil, but as you can see, it's going to start to work. Let's see, what are we... What's happening here? Ah. Of course. Well, this is filling up. <clears throat> yeah, that's not going to output until I change that why won't you despawn it's a noon
Don't want you blowing up my stuff. Alright. Hold on, guys. Well, I'm, I'm just going to wait until this has a sufficient enough amount of creosote oil, and then I'll come back to you guys. See you in a second. Okay, guys. Our tank is completely full. All I need to do is put some uh, creosote void capsules, capsules in there. And now we've got all, all of it f completely filled up. So now, we can release the creosote. Alright, ready guys? Three, two, one. Release. Now, these things are getting a whole bunch of creosote in there. Doesn't seem to be going down at all. Alright, there we go. But still, it's, that's a pretty high amount of, of creosote. Now these things are going to fill up to 10,000. I don't know if all of them are. I think they should be now. And these guys are going to slowly drain this. But it's going to generate power. Now, <clears throat> you can also add more semi-fluid generators and it's going to take up more of the creosote oil but just throw in some void capsules um, but if it's going to take too much creosote oil away from you all you need to do is add a lot more of these coke ovens which if you really think about it they're not incredibly hard to make I mean it'll take you a little while to get the the clay you need, but other than that, the sand is easy to get, and you should be great. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use these semi-fluid generators with the creosote oil, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.